Hello, hello. I'd like to thank you for joining me here today in our pre-made yoga flow. Items that we may need for this session is a yoga block, a yoga strap, maybe a long pillow to help with comfort. And I am sitting on a bolster pillow. So may you gather any supplies you may need. And um, maybe grab something to drink to stay hydrated during our session. And once we gather our supplies, maybe find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in half lotus. Maybe find any easy seat that feels good for you. Ensuring that our spinal cord is nice and long. Our shoulders are melted downward away from our ears. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, if that feels good for us. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. Breathe in. Exhale through the mouth. With our eyes gazed down, allowing our palms to relax downward on our laps. As our buttocks, our root chakra is connected to the earth, allowing our bodies to become grounded, settled, rooted here today. Taking a moment to simply check in with our environment. Maybe we can allow our palms to flow to the sides of our bodies onto the earth using our palms to feel the energies of our environment. Simply going in with being aware of what is going on around us without judgment. Now during our session, we may hear noises, we may become distracted. Only allowing in the sounds and situations that are soothing for us and our practice here today. As we breathe our palms above our heads and our seated salutes, feeling that stretch, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, spinal cord is nice and elongated here, heart chakras open, chin is slightly up, feeling the stretch, breathe in, interlacing our fingers, allowing our pointer finger to reach up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, allowing our arms to flow towards the back, opening up their heart chakra, chin is up. We're gonna hang out here. This is a slight back bend. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that salute or that seated extended mountain, meaning our hands are slightly apart. And our seated salute, our palms are together. Two breaths. Exhale to prayer, allowing our palms to come at heart center. Eyes are gazed down as our palms flow towards the sides of our bodies, connecting to the universe, connecting to our environment. Maybe allow our bodies to lean towards the right, working on that C-spine here. Allowing our head to melt towards our shoulder, allowing our shoulder to melt downwards towards the earth, going deeper in that C-spine as our left hand flows over our head, extending over that head, feeling that deep, side bend. And maybe we can gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. We're going to hang out here for three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. Both palms are relaxed on the earth as we switch sides, allowing, allowing our bodies to lean towards the left. Head melts downward towards the shoulder. Shoulder melts downward towards the earth, coming deeper in that C spine here. As our right arm reaches up in the air and flows over that head, feeling that nice deep stretch. Maybe we can gaze up at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra a little more. Three more breaths. Breath. Exhaling back down to center, palms are on the earth, connecting to our environment, 
as we breathe our palms up towards the heavens and connecting to above. Noticing how this feels, interlacing our palms together as we flow down to our prayer hand. On our legs, palms are downward, eyes are gazed down, spinal cord straight, and we hang out here two natural breaths. Breathe in, exhale. As we allow our left hand to connect to our right knee, we're gonna work on a spinal twist. Taking that right hand, we're gonna behind our back, fingertips facing away from us. We're gonna gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, both palms are on our legs. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing that right hand to connect, to touch that left knee. We're gonna take this left hand behind our back, fingertips facing away from us as we gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling spinal twist opposite side. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, placing our palms on our laps as we breathe our palms above our heads and our salute, feeling the flow. Exhale to prayer. Going back to our salute, feeling the movements here. Exhale to prayer. Breathing to our salute. Palms are in the air, fingertips are reaching upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, prayer hands. Palms at heart center, thumbs touching our sternum as we gaze our eyes down. Maybe sit here with three breaths of silent meditation. Breathing our palms to our salute. Awakening the body, flow into our prayer. As we find our bodies on our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop position. We're going to place that bolster pillow off to the sides. As our tummies flow downward towards the earth and our backs are slightly sunken, but are still slightly up in the air. Our elbows are not bent, they are nice and straight here. As we are gazed slightly forward with our chin slightly up, we are in our cow pose. Hanging out here, two breaths. Exhale into our cat, chin comes towards our clavicle, spinal cord goes up in the air, cat pose, two breaths. Flowing back to our cow. As we do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Two more breaths. Finding our pose at center, we're gonna work on a sunbird pose. We're gonna take our right leg and bring it out towards the back. Both of our palms are planted flat on the earth as we are gazing forward. We are balancing and strengthening our bodies. If this feels good, maybe we can extend that left arm forward, finding our bodies in our complete sunbird pose. Noticing how this feels in the body as we hang out here for natural breaths. Keeping in mind, if we lose our balance, we can lower our feet downward towards the earth for balance. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our table. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to our cat. Lower back to our table as we sunbird opposite side, taking that left leg, bringing it towards the back, feeling that stretch. Both palms are planted flat on the earth as we collect our balance here. If all feels well, we can extend that right arm forward, coming into that full sunbird. Or if we are losing our balance here, we can lower our feet downward towards the earth as we gaze forward. Whatever feels good for you, sunbird pose, four breaths,
two more breaths. Exhale back to the table as we drop down to our cow. And exhale to our cat. Lower back to our table. As we extend, reaching that right arm up towards the heavens, opening up that heart chakra. Gazing up at our fingertips, feeling this nice deep stretch here. Breathe in. We're going to thread the needle, thread that right arm through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Eyes are closed or gaze down. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward. And in our thread the needle, we can take that left hand and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that left hand in front of the body, palms flat on the earth. Whatever you choose, then we allow our bodies to completely relax. Eyes are gazed there. Shoulder blades melted into the earth as we go inward and center our bodies. Five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we are going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. Knees are hip distance apart as we drop down to our cow. Elbows are straight, shin is up. Flow into our cat. Breathing back to table. As we extend that left arm up in the air, we're feeling that stretch, gazing up at our fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes down towards the earth, gazing those eyes downward. If we choose, we can wrap this right arm around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. With our bodies completely relaxing here, eyes are gazed down and closed. May we go inward for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. Knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to that cow, tummy comes closer towards the earth. Chin is slightly up, Flow. elbows are straight. As we flow to that cat, breathing back to our table, as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing back at our feet. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding our paws here. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, coming deeper in that stretch. Coming back to that down dog, as we shift our bodies forward, rolling into that high plank. If we need to, we can drop to our knees, or we can flow to a low plank, whatever you choose. Three breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. As we find pause, we're gonna three leg dog right side, bringing that right leg in the air, gazing back at that foot. As we come into a pigeon pose, bringing that right foot forward, crossing that right foot in front of our bodies with the left leg out towards the back. <sighs> yes, we are in that pigeon pose, 
right foot forward, left leg straight out towards the back. And taking a nice natural breath here to center and relax our bodies. As we slightly gaze over that right shoulder. Exhale into center, gazing over that left shoulder. Exhale, exhale and back to center. As we take our pillow, if we choose, and bring that pillow in front of us, flowing down to a sleeping pigeon. However, if our tummies are too big and we don't feel comfortable, we can stay up in our awakened pigeon. So whatever pigeon you are in, sleeping or awakened pigeon, may we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. Allowing the body to completely relax. As we go inward, the five natural births. Three more breaths. If we are in our sleeping pigeon, we're going to awaken. We're going to slightly gaze over that left shoulder, reaching our, reaching our left hand back, connecting our left hand to our left leg as we have gazed over that shoulder. And if this feels okay, maybe we can connect the hand to the foot, coming into a king pigeon or a mermaid. So we have our foot in our hand, we have it in our elbow, or wherever we may be able to get our bodies to. And we also need to stretch to assist us in our king, pigeon, or mermaid. Wrapping that strap around the foot, and in our king pigeon, we'll bring our palms above our head, holding on to the strap. Chin is slightly up, heart chakra is open. We are in our king pigeon. We're in our mermaid. Our bodies are slightly out towards the side with our foot and our elbow. We are in our mermaid. Taking a moment to notice the difference, the slight difference between the two and the different variations of the king and mermaid. Whatever feels good for you and your body without causing pain and comfort is your right king pigeon mermaid. We're going to hang out here in whatever pose we choose for five natural breaths. Keeping in mind that if we don't want to do a king or a mermaid, we can just relax in our pigeon or our sleeping pigeon. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly exhale out of that pigeon mermaid pose, and maybe we can flow down to a sleeping pigeon just for a moment if we are, if we need to rest, or we can stay up in our pigeon. Two breaths. Mm. Coming out of that sleeping pigeon as we slightly gaze over that right shoulder, feeling this final twist. Exhale and back to center, framing that front leg as we push our bodies up to that down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our legs here. Finding our pause as we shift forward to high plank, low plank, or dropping to the knees in our plank, whatever you choose. Exhale back to down dog, walking our dog, finding our pose as we three-legged dog opposite side, left leg goes in the air, breathe in, exhale pigeon pose opposite side, left leg goes forward, right leg goes out towards the back. <sighs> Taking a moment to notice how this feels within the body with that right leg straight out behind us with our front leg crossed in front of us. And for those who don't know, pigeon pose prepares the body for split. It also helps opens up that hips, preparing the body for labor. It relaxes the body, relaxes the hip flexors as well. 
and we are pushing our bodies up with our hands. And that's a slight back bend, if you can see, if you can feel, or we can flow on down to a sleeping pigeon, if that feels good. <sighs> Noticing that the pigeon pose can also be used as a stretch as well as a rest pose. So when we are sleeping, we are simply just resting downward. Sometimes our bellies are too big and we can't really go into that sleeping pigeon. If that's the case, we'll just simply be up in our pigeon. Still, it's still a resting pose. And any pose that we are in, we may allow our eyes to gaze down and relax. As we take natural breaths. Maybe we can slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Flowing back to center as we gaze over that right shoulder. And if all feels well, maybe we can maybe we can connect that right hand towards that right leg, noticing how this feels. We're just touching the hand to the leg. And if this feels good, maybe we can bring that foot towards that hand, coming into a king pigeon. Mermaid opposite side, connecting that hand to foot, connecting that foot inside the elbow. Keeping in mind that we can use that yoga strap, that feels good for us. For those who don't want to come into the king pigeon mermaid, may you flow down to your sleeping pigeon or pigeon. Relax in the mind and body, five breaths. Three more breaths. Allowing that right leg to flow towards the back, bringing that right hand forward, framing that front leg as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling the spinal twist. Exhaling back to center, framing that front leg as we push our bodies up to that down dog. Coming down to our forearms, flowing into our dolphin pose. Gazing back at our feet, maybe walking our feet closer towards our torso. Noticing how our buttocks comes higher in the air. We are in our dolphin, which is a headstand prep pose. Two more breaths. As we drop to our knees, coming into a wide legged child's pose for puppy pose, allowing the torso and the tummy to relax between the thighs. And if you choose, we can use that pillow and bring it between our, our legs, our thighs, and hang out here, or we can bring that pillow in front of us and relax in our child's pose, puppy pose. Whatever feels good for you, may we allow our heart chakra to melt towards the earth. And may we allow our third eye chakra, our forehead, to relax onto the earth. Using this pose to relax, soothe, Go inward and awaken us. Allowing us to see things clearly. Allowing us to realize what needs to be realized. With our heart chakra and our third eye chakra connected to the earth, may we relax, soothe, and go inward for six natural breaths. Three more breaths. With our palms extended in front of us, if we were not in the extended child's pose, puppy pose. The palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna spine and wave our bodies out of this position using our palms to push our torsos forward and using our palms to push our buttocks towards the heels of our feet. We are spine waving it. We are working the entire spinal cord. And if we want to work the cervical spine, we can do a couple of neck 
movements here, allowing the entire spinal cord, including the cervical, to connect, to flow here in this spinal wave. Feeling the movements here. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, bringing our knees together, slightly together. Bringing our knees hip distance apart as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Flowing back to our table. And if we were in our child's pose, we're gonna to flow to our puppy pose. If we were in our puppy pose, we're going to flow to our child's pose. Allowing the heart chakra to come downward towards the earth. We're gonna allow our bodies to continue to rest here. Third eye chakra, our forehead is melted towards the yoga mat. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Using this pose to relax, four more breaths. Two more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us, palms flat down on the earth. Final wave in our bodies out of this position. We are back in our table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Rolling back the table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. As we breathe that right foot to right hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Hanging out here in this lunge. If our tummy's big, we may have to come slightly off to the side to not squish baby. As we flow to that pyramid, straightening out that front leg, mm -hmm. stretch behind our legs and our hamstrings there. Torso melts downward towards the legs, eyes gaze down or closed. Mm -hmm. Exhale back forward to that runner's lunge. Two breaths. As we breathe up to our high lunge or warrior one, High lunge, warrior one, high lunge, warrior one. As we flow to warrior two, exhale back, warrior one, high lunge. Breathe back, warrior two, feel the movements here. We are working and strengthening the lower parts of our bodies. <sighs> Exhale back, warrior one, high lunge. Framing that front foot, we are back in our runner's lunge. Exhale to pyramid. Breathe back, runner's lunge. As we float to down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog, by pedal on our feet. Finding our pause, we're gonna bring that left foot to that left hand. We are in our runner's lunge. Opposite side here. As we straighten that front leg, flowing into a pyramid, relaxing the body. Flowing back to that runner's lunge. As we breathe up to our high lunge, warrior one. High lunge. Warrior one, high lunge, warrior one. Building strength in the lower parts of our bodies here. Notice how this feels. Exhale to warrior two. Breathe back warrior one. Flow into warrior two. Exhale, warrior one. Or high lunge. Framing that front leg, we are back in our runner's lunge. As we straighten that front leg, flowing into our pyramid. 
allowing the body to completely relax. Going back to that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog. Coming down to our forearms. We are in our dolphin. Hanging out here, two breaths. Dropping to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose, puppy pose. Using the pillows to help relax and soothe if need be. Heart and third eye chakra is melted to the earth. Sitting our arms in front of us, palms face down on the earth. Finally, waving our bodies out of this pose here. Finding our bodies at center, we are in our table. Pushing our bodies up to right down dog. Walking our, walking our feet towards our hands, we are in a complete forward fold. Allowing our bodies to relax and soothe. Maybe we can slightly yogi walk our feet apart, flowing into a rag doll. Hugging our elbows with our hands. This is a full body stretch here. Two more breaths. As we sway our bodies from side to side here. Finding our pulse, flowing to our half forward fold. Breathing back to our complete forward fold. Exhale to have forward fold as we flow into a goddess pose. We're going to take our feet and our feet and bring them outward. We're going to slightly bend our knees. We're going to come into that goddess stance here. We can be in our goddess cactus hands. We can be in our cactus hands. We can be in our prayer hands. We can relax our palms on our legs if that feels good for us. We can also extend those palms above our head in our salute or our extended mountain. Whatever you choose, three more breaths. Exhale to a complete forward fold. Rocking, swaying the body from side to side, feeling this in our hamstrings, three breaths. Finding our pause at center. We're gonna bend our knees coming back down to that goddess. We can be in our cactus hands. We can breathe, we can breathe our palms above our heads and our salute. Flow into our prayer. Whatever you choose. Two more breaths. Exhale to complete forward fold. Flow into that half forward fold. As we bend our knees, flowing back into that goddess. We are in our cactus hands as we rock our bodies from side to side, building strength here. We are toning and firming the lower parts of our bodies. Finding our pulse as we pulse it up and down. We are doing goddess pulses here. Two more breaths. Finding our pulse. Exhale, complete forward fold. Maybe swaying our bodies from side to side, noticing how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. This is a counter stretch. Finding our pose at center. We're gonna flow back up to that goddess. Final goddess, build and strengthen our legs as we pulse it up and down. This goddess pose prepares the hips, build strength to the lower parts of our bodies, preparing us for labor. Find and pause as we rock from side to side. Finding pause, two breaths. Complete forward fold, relax in the body. Walking our hands forward, bringing our legs together. We are in our down dog. Huddling our feet, walking our dog, noticing how this feels in our hips. Now joints, yes. Feeling the movements here, walking the dog. 
maybe going nice and slow, feeling it here in our hip flexors. Finding our pause, pushing our torso towards our thighs. Exhaling forward to the high plank. We can drop to our knees or come to a low plank if that feels good. Two breaths. Exhale back down, dog. Low into our dolphin, coming on to our forearms. Drop into our knees, coming into a wide legged child's pose, puppy pose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Spinal wave in our bodies out of this position here. Maybe doing a couple spinal waves. Adding the neck, the cervical spine into the rotations here. Completely soothing the entire spinal canal. Completely soothing the entire spinal canal. Finding our pause at table, knees or hip distance apart as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose, only for a second. We're gonna straighten our legs out in front of us, coming into a staff pose. We are in our staff pose. Spinal cord is nice and long. <sighs> as we work on dorsi plantar flexes here, we're gonna plantar flex our feet downward. Yes, noticing how that feels. It's a full body stretch in our legs here. Pointing those feet downward. Plantar flex as we point the feet upwards towards the heaven. Dorsey flex. As we plantar flex those toes back downward. Feeling a stretch here when we're pointing our feet down. Feeling the body stretch. Yes. Pointing the feet upwards. As we do a couple rotations of dorsey plantar flexes. Going as fast or as slow as we choose. Two more breaths. Pointing the toes up, pointing the toes down, holding them down, building that stretch. And if we're able, maybe we can reach our hands down towards our ankle, towards our ankles. But if our tummy's too big, maybe we can come into a wide leg. It's slightly opening the legs, creating space for baby as we reach our hands downward towards our ankles. And our toes are still plantar flexing. Our toes are still in a plantar flex. I Meaning toes face downward towards the earth, building that stretch. Yes. As we reach down to our ankles, our torso comes closer towards our thighs. Our baby bellies are relaxed between our thighs. And if we are able, we can reach our hands down to the lower parts of our feet, completely cuffing our feet, feeling that full body, feeling that deep full body stretch. Allowing the eyes to close or gaze down as we melt our bodies towards the earth as much as we possibly can without hurting mom and baby. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale to the half forward fold, heart chakra slightly open, chin slightly up. Breathe back, complete forward fold. Exhale, half forward fold. Lower to our staff pose, straightening the body, ensuring that our backs are nice and straight. As we breathe our legs and we're coming into a bound position, maybe a diamond or a butterfly. In a butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. This is a nice deep hip opener here. And now with diamond, our feet are further away. Maybe playing around with the two, seeing which one feels best in your body. Ensuring that we are not overstretching our bodies. But in whatever pose you feel good in, bringing our hands to our ankles, maybe slightly hinge at the hips, noticing how this goes deeper into the hip flexors here. With the eyes gaze down to close, allowing our torso to come towards our feet. Three breaths. Extending those palms in front of you, 
palms are on the earth. Extending your arms in front of you, palms are on the earth if that feels good for you. Going deeper in that stretch. Two more breaths. Coming out of that hinge position, we are back in our diamond or our butterfly. Connecting our hands to our ankles as we flow into a cow. Allowing our heart chakra to open, chin slightly up. Allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades. We are in a deep cow pose. Two breaths. Flow into our cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle. And we're going to slightly bring our backs. We're going to slightly bring our spinal cord to the back of the room because we don't want to squish baby here. Cat pose. Going back to our cow. And staying in this bound position, we're going to take our left hand and connect it to our left foot. Lifting that left foot off the earth. Yes. And then we're going to extend that left foot out towards the side. Feeling that behind our legs and our hamstrings. Notice listen how that feels as we slightly widen that stance here by bringing our legs further away from the center of our bodies. Yes, feeling that stretch. We can bring the leg inward, closer to the center of our bodies, or we can push it outwards, further away from our bodies. Feeling that deep stretch. Two breaths. Breathing that leg back in. We're gonna switch sides, taking that right hand to that right foot, lifting that right foot off the earth, extending that right foot out towards the side. Feeling that stretch. Pushing that leg further away from the center of your body, feeling that stretch. You can bring that leg closer towards the center of our body or further away, whatever feels good for you. Feeling that stretch here. Spinal cord is nice and long. Always keeping in mind, having control of our bodies means having control of that spine. Exhaling that foot back inwards. And then we're gonna take both feet, connecting both feet in our hands, yes. Notice how this feels. Spinal cord is nice and long. The spinal cord is what's going to keep us up. If we should slightly bend our spinal cords, we may fall over. So keeping that spinal cord nice and elongated here. As we extend that left leg out towards the side and extend that right leg out towards the side. We are in our boat pose variation here. People also call this bear pose. And maybe we can widen our legs coming into a nice wide legged V. Noticing how this feels. Or we can bring our legs inward. Taking a moment to notice how both feels within the body and doing whatever feels best for you. Three more breaths. Bringing our legs inward, coming into a bound position. Lightly hinging at the hips. Feeling this inside of our, feeling this inside of our hips, slightly hinging at the hips, opening up our hip flexors a little more. Feeling this inside the hips, opening up those hip flexors, preparing the body for the two breaths. Exhale to center. As we flow into a as we flow into a cow face, I'm going to take my right leg and bring it under my left. Take that left leg and cross it over the right. Or you can vice versa. Whatever feels best for you in your cow face. Now, we're, we're going to be winding down our session here today. So if you choose, maybe grab something to wrap your body up in, if that feels good for you. With our feet off to the side, in our cow face. Maybe take a moment to take our hands, connecting our hands to our feet, and slightly squeeze our feet. Just taking a moment to give our feet, which could also be considered the root chakra because it's always connected to the ground. Our feet always connect us, ground us, and center us. Just showing a little love. Two more breaths. As we find pause at center, ensuring that our spinal cord is nice and long, our shoulders are melted down away from our ears, our chin is relaxed, 
Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, maybe allowing the thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, self-care is a necessity. And for moms to be, when you get busy, and we're gonna seem like we're running out of time each day. Like no matter how little it may seem that we have, may we always make time for self. The self-care is a necessity. As we all know, we cannot pour from an empty cup and we cannot do for another if we are stressed out, burnt out, and just completely down and up. Self-care is a must. And I would like to take this time to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care here with you today. As we breathe our palms onto our tummies, taking our, taking our right hand and our left hand and simply just relaxing it anywhere on our tummy that we choose. Giving baby love. Either we have a big belly, a small belly, or maybe we don't have a baby in our belly yet at all. Maybe we're simply manifesting. Whatever it may be, showing love to the life and the possibilities that we are able to bring to this world. Moms. Mother Earth. Four breaths of silence. Eyes gaze down. Shoulders melted away from the ears. Three more breaths of silence. Breathe in. Exhale. If we throw our palms at heart center, finding our bodies back in our seated prayer. Eyes gaze down and closed. The light in me, please appreciates and respects the light in me. Namaste.